Okay, now let's do uh, the lesson data file handling and today I will uh, take up uh, like how to read data from a file. In our last sessions we have seen like how to create a file and how to write to a file. Now what we will do is we will write something to a file and then we will read from the file and display the contents of the file on the screen right okay now I'm going to take a program in which I have uh, let's say the details of um, the employees right and we have to read the details from the file right okay now I'm going to write a program here so here I have included the header files needed for this program iostream.h, fstream.h and stdlib.h right now the main function okay now first of all system within bracket CLS this is for clearing the screen right okay now I'm going to take one file object of stream I call it as file 1 right okay now file 1 dot open uh, I call it as emp name and I am opening it in the output mode that is the default mode right okay now see how I am going to write into the file I have taught you how to write to the file in the earlier sessions now I am just writing to the file in a, a shortcut way right I say file 1 I am going to give the names of some employees here right I write Amit Gupta and here I give a backslash n so that I come to the next line after this right and then Monica Sharma is another name of the employee right then let's give one more name here something like this right okay now I have written three names into this file uh, okay after this I want to close this file because I have already written into the file now I want to close this now once you have written this into the file now comes the reading part reading the data from the file now see how it is to be done the first thing you have to do is I take one character array I call it as line and I take it as 80 like this right okay hmm? okay after that I need to have a input stream that is the if stream right I call it as file 2 fine now this file 2 the object file 2 has to be associated with the file so file 2 dot open we will give the same file name <coughs> that you had uh, given about that is emp name and 
iOS now it is input mode right okay so this file is opened in the input mode now after that see out the names of the employees are I write and then file 2 dot get line line comma 80 so here I am using the get line function which gets a complete line uh, till the new line character that is backslash in that you had entered earlier so what it does is it fetches this particular content Amit Gupta that you had written here right this and this is put inside this array of line line is the array right okay hmm? So file 2 dot get line line comma 80 means inside this uh, array line you have got the name Amit Sharma right after this I write C out line so this will display that particular name right then again I say file 2 dot get line now the cursor has come to the second line right so when you say line comma 80 once again here this fetches the second name and puts it into the uh, array line right now see out line and then will display the second name right Now we have three names there, so if you want to display all the three names, this thing has to has to come thrice, right? So I'll write once again file two dot get line line comma eighty again, and here see out line end. It's not necessary that the array should be of eighty characters. It can be less also if you know that the length of a particular line uh, is uh, less than 80 characters then you can take it like that. But normally we take a safe length that is one line uh, will not be more than 80 characters even if you put a lot of characters in it. So we take it as 80 right okay. See out line end in, right. So once this is done all the data is displayed now you can say file 2 dot close and then return 0 right so now when you run this program it will display the names like this whatever we had written there this will be the output of the program it will read from that particular file right okay hmm? so there are different ways of uh, reading from a file now we have seen uh, the way in which you read a whole line and put it on the uh, display right okay hmm? so here while writing to the file we have just written it uh, in this way you know how to write to a file you can follow the way of writing to a file proper way in which you have supposing you want to write the names of five employees or uh, details of five employees uh, so you can put a for loop and uh, put the details of the five employees and then it can be read right okay okay now um,
in most of the cases that we have done we have always opened the file in uh, the output mode that is the default mode but generally it should not be like that whenever you have any data to a file that data should not be overwritten so supposing in this program uh, like what i have done here is i have written m name ios out here so i run the program for the first time right and these three names are there fine supposing i have a program in which i ask the user to enter the name instead of giving the names like this the way i have given it here right okay so what happens is every time the user runs the program like today i run the program tomorrow again i run the program day after tomorrow again i run the program now each day i want to put the uh, names of the new employees who have joined right so that doesn't mean that the earlier employees names should get erased right so the earlier names should also be there and after that whatever name you are putting that has to get added to that right so generally in most of the cases that we will be doing right instead of using the ios out mode right you should use the ios append mode app right so this ensures that the earlier records are intact and the new records are added to the earlier ones that's what we want in real uh, life right okay hmm? so whenever you are uh, putting the names of employees or the names of students details of the students and all such things you should always use the append function right and i showed you this get line function here this get line function is for reading a whole line is for reading a whole line and putting it into a array right okay now you have two more functions which are one is called the get function and one is put function right now as i said get line reads a whole line whole line means it contains a lot of characters right so it can read a number of characters and puts it into a array now this get function can read only a single character get function can read only a single character from a file so if you want to read character by character then you have to use the get function same way the put function writes one character at a time to a file okay supposing uh, you have a file uh, i'll just show you something here supposing you have one uh, if stream if stream file 1 i have written and uh, there is some file associated with it let's say file 1 dot open emp dot dat and this is opened in the input mode right okay hmm. now while file 1 that is while the end of the file now i want to read uh, supposing i say file 1 dot get ch ch is a character variable that we take here char ch right now what does this mean this means uh, file 1 dot get ch means it will read the first character of that particular file and that character will be put in the variable ch right so supposing i have a file here in which i have written uh something like this this is data file handling suppose this is the content of the file right okay hmm. uh now what what this will do is first of all it will take out this t right this t will be put inside the variable ch and that will be displayed right 
then while file one it goes to the next character now this is put into ch and then h comes then the third character then the fourth character like this it will read character by character like this okay hmm? and the put function same way uh, if you want to write something character by character then you will use the put function so for using the put function you should have a off stream class off stream object sorry and you have to associate a file with it and whatever character supposing i say the user enters something see out see out enter a character right c in ch now i want to put this so what i'll do is this is file2 dot put and here i'll write ch so this file2 should be attached to a particular uh, file so i say file2 dot open uh, supposing i say my file dot dat comma ios append right so whatever the user enters this could have been put in a loop also now i i just wanted to show you how to use this put function so c in ch the user will enter any character from that keyboard from the keyboard and that character will be put onto the file written onto the file right so today we have seen how to read from a file using the get line function and uh, also we have seen how to use the get function here for reading a file this is again uh, get function this is again the get function for reading from a file for reading a character from a file right okay and we have also seen how to use the put function okay so with that i come to the end of this session on data handling bye